Hello folks and welcome back tennis fans to 2020 the ATP season and the slice. How have you been? I hope your holidays was great. Merry Christmas. I hope that you knew that it was bagel time still over the break because it's always bagel time. But anyways, welcome to 2020. A new tournament is on the ATP tour as you probably know the ATP Cup. So in this episode we're going to look into some of the craziness that's been going down there with all the good players all the countries represented. We're going to look into what it is, what's been happening, and these quarterfinal matchups that are starting today. If you're in Australia, I'm in Canada, so it's like actually like yesterday or tomorrow. I don't know. It's confusing, but we're going to figure it out on this episode of The Slice. Welcome to The Slice. Welcome to The Slice. Welcome to The Slice. <laughs> Well, thanks for tuning in, folks. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, if you're new here, welcome to The Slice. You gotta subscribe down below. Click that red button right now if you haven't uh, because we're gonna take you through the ATP uh, 2020 season and the WTA 2020 Grand Slam season and we're gonna get into everything. So you're not gonna wanna miss any of our videos. So thanks for subscribing and liking this video because it helps other tennis fans find us. Uh, also, the 2020 season is bringing a new rendition, a new version, some more exciting action on the Front Row Show, which is the Patreon show uh, where you can support The Slice. You can help us grow by paying a small monthly fee, like $4 a month, to get unlimited access to the content that we put on the Front Row Show. So this year, we're doing more shows more often. We're doing live call-in shows, and the first one is gonna happen on this coming Monday, where if you're a supporter of the show, you can call in. We're gonna chat about tennis, you'll get on the show, and you can contribute in that way, or you can also just have your questions answered, like we did last year. If I go to any tournaments, we'll do exclusive videos just for you guys. Uh, we won't do any less videos on the YouTube, but I'm just saying the front row gets you closer to the action than anywhere else on the web. So that's there's more stuff coming this year on the front row, but you guys who aren't sure you want to support yet, you can also listen to the shows on the Slice Tennis Podcast. Ding! The podcast is back, so go on Apple Podcasts and or Spotify and check it out. Give us a listen and a review. You can listen to the action there, but if you want to contribute, sign up in the link below for the Front Row Show on Patreon, and I will love you long time. I'll love you anyways. But that you can do that if you want with the link below. So the ATP Cup is going on. It's been going on for a few days now and it's been absolutely wild. I'm sure a lot of you have seen the highlights on Instagram or YouTube or TV or whatever. Uh, but coming into this tournament, I didn't really know what to expect and I wasn't too excited for, well, like I was excited for all the action. A, Federer pulled out. Like we don't know where he is. We don't know what he's doing. He's probably in Dubai training. Um, but I guess it was like, this kind of seems like the Davis Cup coming in and it is very similar to the Davis Cup, especially the Davis Cup finals that were in Madrid at the end of last year, only like a month and a half ago. But it's obviously exciting because we have so many big names there. The, the format's cool, I think. It's just three match um, three match ties between two countries. Uh, it keeps it efficient, keeps it fun. Two singles and one doubles. Um, so yeah, it's been awesome. I'm into it. If you don't know, it's a 24-team tournament. There are six groups of four, of four teams spread out amongst three Australian cities. Uh, also, shout out to Australia. Literal prayers are going up for your country. Uh, if you're there, I'm so sorry to hear about the fires. It's insane. We're going to do something during the Australian Open to try and help send some money down there. Um, but yeah, terrible fires down there. But at least people are having fun watching the tennis, which was spread out between Brisbane, Sydney, and Perth. But now, so only the top six teams plus the top two runners up. So there's six winners of the groups, and the two runners up are in the quarterfinals now. Uh, and it's gonna be sweet. So we're gonna break down that in a second. Um, we got, like I said, the big guns are here. We got Djokovic and Nadal leading Team Serbia and Spain, obviously. Um, but some standouts from this tournament have been Alex Diemenauer's played great. Nick Kyrgios has played great. Team Australia has just been solid, playing big for the country. Uh, Kyrgios had the most epic match, which you already saw a clip of. I'll try to put another clip. Don't flag us, ATP. This is property of the ATP. Um, Epic match already. Kyrgios sits a pass 7 6, 6 7, 7 6. I mean, usually you don't see this much action this early in the season. So the ATB Cup is keeping things super spicy to start 2020. Um, and Shapovalov has also been really good for Canada, uh, beating Sitsipas and Zverev. So rising to the top of that next gen 
pack, taking out the golden boy sits a pass who I put, if you haven't seen it, video should be linked up here as my number one player on the top 10 players of the next 10 years. That's a video I made over the break. Check it out now. Top 10 players of the next 10 years. You want to see who I think it is? That's in that video. Sits pass was number one. Spoiler alert. Uh, Zverev was on that list. But he also lost. And Zverev does not look like he's having fun out there right now. Had a bunch of bad losses. Not bad losses, but just a bunch of losses to guys that he knows he could beat. He uh, obviously wants to do the best he can. But anyways, that brings us to... And Germany's out, so he doesn't have any more chances to do that at the ATP Cup. That brings us to the quarterfinals. So in the first day, which is happening like right now, basically, as this video is shot. So the results will probably already be up. We have Great Britain versus Australia. Now, this is a great matchup. A matchup of the Commonwealth, you know. Great Britain is led by their number one player, friend of the show, Dan Evans, who's been balling out of control. He's beaten great. He took out, they took out Moldova, so it wasn't like, you know, the biggest, hardest. They took out Moldova. He played good there, and I forget who else was in their group. But he's played well, kind of carried Great Britain through, good doubles player. They're playing Australia now, so D Dan Evans will be playing Demon Hour, and Cameron Norrie will be playing Nick Kyrgios. So exciting matchups there, especially Evans and Demon Hour. That's going to be an interesting tactical battle of the Demon who's super fast and can't like really you can't get balls past him, versus Dan Evans who's like a veteran now and he's super quirky and got uh, that slice that just chops people's up, cheap a lot people up. I expect Kyrgios to come through that. They're playing inspired right now for the country that's on fire. In the other quarterfinal happening today. Uh, we have Argentina versus Russia, the powerhouse Russians. Kachanov and Medvedev, they're both going to play singles, and then they're going to play doubles. So the team is basically just Kachanov and Medvedev. Kachanov plays Schwartz, um, Schwartzman. No, wait, that's going to be mixed up. Yeah, I think, no, Kachanov is going to play Guido Pela, and Medvedev is going to play Schwartzman. Um, I'm going to be picking, yeah, the Russians to come through on that one for sure. I think they're playing pretty good. But Schwartzman could beat Medvedev possibly. Um and and Guido Pela, I don't I don't know if he has enough to get back catch, past Kachanov, but he could. All things could happen. That's going to be a good matchup, but I expect the Russians to come through that. And then we have Serbia versus Canada. The Canadian boys holding it down. Shapovalov, Felix Auger, Ali Asim. Uh Djokovic will be playing Shapovalov, number ones from each side. Lajovic will be playing Felix Auger, Ali Asim. So this is interesting. So this one could definitely come down to the doubles because obviously you got to take Djokovic as the favorite versus Chapo. But Chapo had a look at him. Uh, I think it was in Paris. Played pretty well. Obviously, it was their first. I think it was their second time playing, actually. Um, but this is going to be another chance. It's a three-set match. It's on faster courts. Um, so this could be an opportunity. And Chapo has had two big wins already over Tsitsipas and Zverev. Um, but Djokovic still is the favorite in that. But Felix Auger Aliasim is the favorite against Lajevic. So that could go down to the doubles, and then you never know what happens. Felix and now Felix and Dennis got that chemistry from the Davis Cup run to the final of the Davis Cup finals. It's redundant, but anyways, they got to the final there, and they're proving in the ATB Cup that it was not a fluke. So that chemistry could come out; they could get it done versus Serbia. So stay tuned to see if the young the young guns from Canada will do it. Uh, next up, we have Belarus, or sorry, Belgium. Wow, I think I'm part Belgian actually. That's a fact. Bel Belgian versus Spain. Uh, number one's Golfan and Nadal play each other, and number two's Steve Darcis and Roberto Batista Agut play each other. Definitely going with Spain in this matchup. Just too much skill on the Spanish side, I think, for Belgium to handle. But congrats to Belgium, making it to the quarterfinals. So anyways, there's a quick little setup. We got Great Britain versus Australia. I'm taking Australia. Even though my guy Dan Evans is balling out, Australia's playing too inspired right now to lose, I think. Argentina versus Russia. I'm definitely taking Russia. Serbia versus Canada. You know what? I'm going with Canada. I'm sticking true. Where's my dampener? My Canada dampeners. I'm sticking true to the boys. I think they can get it done. You know, Shapovalov could win. Felix should win. And then the doubles are going to happen. You never know. You never know. It could happen. They could just win it straight, sweep him in the singles. You never know. Uh, and then we got Belgium versus Spain. And like I said, I'm going with Spain. So what do you guys think? What do you guys think of the ATP Cup so far? Is it a good thing? It's kind of replacing these 250 tournaments that happened in, Austra in the Australian summer before the Australian Open. Let me know what you think. And as always, I love you. And thanks for watching. Also, now that you're at the end of this video, which I'm sure changed your life, and I'm sure you've subscribed, check out our product re reviews that I was doing over the break. I did some balls, some shoes, some strings. You can check it out in this playlist right here.